Here we're asked to factor the following quadratic expressions and write our answers in completely factored form. So a very important piece of vocabulary is the use of this word expression, expressions. An expression in mathematics is just a joining of mathematical terms using positive and negative signs. You can look at them as all positive, but in this case we have a negative sign. There is no equals. So in other words, this is not an equation. We are not looking for a value of a to satisfy this statement because we don't satisfy statements, we satisfy equations. So we are merely looking to rewrite this expression in a form that is slightly different, but that is completely factored. So what I want to do is take each of my terms and I want to analyze them in terms of their factors and see if there's anything in common. So 11a squared is 11a times a. I'm going to write it that way. Negative 4a is just negative 4a. There is a factor of 2 inside negative 4, but 11 is not even, so that's not going to help me. That's not a common factor with 11. So I notice that I have an a that's common to both 11a squared and negative 4a, so I'm going to remove that, and that leaves me with 11a minus 4. So when I think I'm finished, I want to check two things. Number one, I want to distribute this a across each term and make sure that I get back what I started with, which is true in this case. The second thing I want to do is look inside this parenthesis and make sure that there are no common factors between 11a and 4. And there are not, so we are done. This is completely factored form for 11a squared minus 4a. So let's look over here at part b and let's see if we can identify a common factor. Common factor between 55w squared and 5w is certainly 5. If I remove that, I get 11w squared plus w. What I should notice though is that even though I multiply the 5, I get back what I started, I do have a common factor of w still inside the parentheses. So it's kind of like what we had over here. I need to remove that w, and if I do, I get 11w plus 1. So again, I want to make sure 5w times 11w is 55w squared, 5w times 1 is 5w, so this checks as a factored form. 11w and 1 have no common factors other than 1, of course, and so this is my fully factored form for the original expression.